Thank you all for tuning in this evening. As always, we have a special message from our friends at the Initiative for Perpetual Happiness. We hope you all had a perfectly happy day. Here's our daily reminder of our community expectations. One, there will be no consumption of alcohol or drugs within the Labuseville city limits. Two, if anyone asks you questions about your life that make you feel uncomfortable or unhappy, ask them to politely leave you alone and never talk to you again. Three, if you see anyone around town being a Debbie Downer, don't hesitate to call your local happiness representative so the government can help these people find the happiness they need. Four, you must always be happy in Labuseville. Five, if any of these rules are broken, see rule three. These expectations, of course, have been laid out by our mayor, the good Dr. Damien Labuse, his inspiration. And stern hand. Of course. Have shown us just how great life can be with a little bit more happiness. But never does get old. Ain't that the truth. Good night. It's weird seeing all the good that the abuse is doing for the community. I enjoyed the 10 minute segment on puppies. Yeah, I love the commercials. It's been a while since I've had beer. Well, uh, bottle conditioning doesn't happen overnight. It's really good, John. If it wasn't for the rules, you could probably make some money off of this. Well, uh, next batch won't happen for a while, so savor every drop. All right, who wants another? Guys. Don't be stupid, John. You know some of the weird shit that's been going on lately. Yeah, people are disappearing and they're showing up a few weeks later and they're different. If you don't want to disappear too, you better start... Start what? I don't know. Playing along. I see how it is. It's nothing personal, man. Cheer up. It's just beer. Is it? Hold my beer and watch this. Lower your voice, man. If anyone hears you, we're fucking done for. Who's listening in? The peppy police? They're a bunch of pushovers, like hyped up on cocaine or something. Those dudes wouldn't even know what happened even if it knocked. Carl. Hey there, Jonathan. I know this is super late. Sorry to disturb you, but I happened upon this, this gorgeous isn't really a good time, man. patch of sunflowers. I saw them. I thought of you. I wanted to make your day a little bit more wonderful. That's uh, that's really sweet, Carl. But um, I don't really need the but flowers. Flowers make everyone happier, Jonathan. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I love flowers. I have a massive collection of my own. I just I don't really need any more. I too collect flowers. Pretty proud of my collection. You mind if I come look at yours? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Uh, I could take those to the kitchen and get my favorite one if you want. Sounds wonderful. All right. Nancy, I'm so surprised to see you here. How are you two doing? That doesn't look like any flower I've seen before. Uh, yeah, it's uh... Jonathan, I'm kidding. I didn't know you kept bonsai. You were about to trim with that knife behind your back, weren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. You could, uh, consider that. Bonsai takes a lot to take care of them, right? You gotta, like, 
get the proper nutrition, the proper sunlight, the proper soil. Oh, yeah, you know, bonsai structure doesn't really happen overnight. Then you wouldn't do something as crazy as, like, poison it with something besides water, would you? Oh, absolutely not. That would kill it. Of course you wouldn't. But, you know, that just got me thinking. What's been drinking the beers that are hidden throughout the room? What? Carl, I can explain. Knock, knock. What? Knock, knock! Who's there? They are. There he is. Welcome back, Jonathan. You may have seen me on television before. My name is Dr. Damien Labuse. A couple concerned citizens brought you into my office because you were experiencing and expressing erratic behavior. And it's a good thing they did because we were able to catch that tumor just in time. Um, let's see. And don't worry about paying me for something like this. It's completely pro bono. Something I like to do for my citizens from time to time. Um, what else? Obviously, the surgery was a success, no complications whatsoever, but we may need to have you stay here at the hospital for a couple more weeks just to play it safe. Um, and Jonathan, it's my understanding that you've never been the most happy individual, but I think that after today, you'll have a completely new outlook on Labuseville, and I think you'll really come to enjoy it. So what we're gonna do now, Jonathan, we're just gonna give you a little something to help you relax, maybe get you a little bit more comfortable. Oh, there it is. There's that smile. That's what I like to see. <laughs> 